Hello, and welcome back to another day in the arena. It's me, it's CGB, and today in the arena, we're taking Mono Red into Historic. And it's not the Mono Red you might have thought was coming at you, because I still have a rivalry with this little monkey. You're not going to see him right now. But what you will see is this kind of mono red go face Arclight Phoenix build. We have Arclight Phoenix, of course, and I'm sure some of you tried or saw this in the past, back when it was legal and standard, thanks to Crash Through and Warlord's Fury, one mana red sorceries that draw a card when you play them. But we never got the chance to play Arclight Phoenix with a few key cards from Eldraine. One is Thrill of Possibility. It was hard to get the Arclight into your graveyard. We had Tormenting Voice, but we only had four of those. So Arclight Phoenix usually could rot in your hand way too long with this style of deck, and casting it for four isn't very efficient. But Thrill of Possibility now teams up with Tormenting Voice to give us more ways to discard a card and draw more cards. On top of that, we have another discard outlet in the new Merchant of the Veil, really more like Haggle. One red, discard a card if you do draw a card. Straightforward, simple, adds to your spell count, triggers things that we'll get to, and puts the phoenix in the graveyard. Next up, Iron Crag Pyromancer. <laughs> Whenever you draw your second card each turn, the Pyromancer deals three damage to any target. This card is sweet with spells like Crash Through, Warlord's Fury, Thrill of Possibility, and Merchant of the Veil, vale. and it has to be dealt with, and if the opponent doesn't, or if they, if they don't deal with it, they're taking a million and all their creatures are dying. If they do deal with it, we unleash the the birds of justice upon them. We also have some electrostatic field to double down on the effect. It's possible you just want the fourth pyromancer, but I I did kind of get in these situations in testing where I'd have three lands and two pyromancers in my hand and I'd just be flooded and not be doing much with them. So I put in two fields and three pyromancers, but maybe that can change. Anyway, this deck can be totally gross if we draw arc lights. It can be totally gross if they don't kill Iron Craig, and it is totally gross if they fail to kill Runway Steamkin. So let's go terrorize the invisible historic ladder with this lovely deck by diving in and letting nonsense begin. And until they actually make a play queue for historic on MTG Arena, I'm going to show you each and every time, my friends, how to get into a historic game. You hit done on your deck builder. You go to the home screen. You click on the play button. You select your historic deck. I have a couple here. I'm going to select hot wings and you hit play. That simple, that easy, that simple, that freaking money. And you will get paired against somebody else who plays historic and they will be grateful. Birds. Gotta draw land. YOLO. Yo freaking low, guys. When you have two arc lights, you can't send it back. You can't send it back, Diagraph Cool. Not good. Not good. <laughs> okay. The fox can't watch. I can't either. <laughs> Ooh, doggy! We did it. Um, I guess we'll wait to thrill a possibility on my opponent's turn, so they don't know what's coming. Don't tell them what's coming, okay? And then we'll draw into three one-drop spells, as we had absolutely zero of, and boom, Birdo. Reassembling skeleton, you champion of justice. All right, let's go. Let's go, team. Give me some cards. That's a one-drop spell in the land, and... Okay, not yet, not yet, not yet. We can't do it yet. So, um, on our opponent's turn, I guess... Well, we probably want to voice here, because if we draw a Fury or a Crash Through, those are sorcery speed, and we may want to play them, although we probably want to hold them. Does it matter? Does it matter, guys? All right. There's the crash through, but we want that for next turn. And now we have basically it. Yeah. Oh, God, go. This is going to be sweet. This is going to be freaking sweet. So next turn, we can cast the other voice, discard the third bird. 
bird is the word. And then we can shock the priest and then crash through, get back three arc light phoenix is and say good night to our friend over here with mono red um yeah or mono red mono black this is what, what would you call this i'll call this a mono mono black dumpster because let's face it reassembling skeleton and death boom bloom ballad are pretty trash ah they have a pretty intro deck i feel a little bad this ain't right this ain't right guys but but we came here to do a thing, and we're going to do it. We're going to do it. All right. Shock him. Would you like to sacrifice some things to your priest that's about to die? Okay. That's a thing that can happen. You made some mana, too. You can get this back. Anyway, Warlord's Fury. I don't think my flyers will need first strike anytime soon. All right, mountain off the top. Combat. The opponent didn't get back their skeleton. Somebody gotta show him that trick. That's why the cards are sweet together. Take this. Bird is the word, homies. Bird is the word. Now we'll see if the opponent can do anything about this. They're going to get back their Priest of the Forgotten Gods. No? No, they're not. Forget that not noise. They're going to get back nothing. All right, Gutter Bones is here. The black creatures keep swinging in. So now the opponent's going to try to stall, I suppose. Well, there's nothing to play anything pre-combat for. If the opponent uses a removal spell in combat, then we won't get anything back. So we're probably just playing our creatures. So if that's the case, we can attack first. Save the spells. We might need to get an arc light back out of the graveyard. Hey yeah. Cast Downses. Yep. Got him. That's probably what the why the opponent didn't get back their skeleton. They were hoping to use a cast down on a bird. Fungal Infection. Yeah, do what you gotta do. We're staying alive. This one's coming down to the wire. Runaway Steamkin. Electrostatic Field. Let's go ahead and use a Crash Through. I'm confident I can get the spells I need next turn if I need them. I might not even. But let's get this point of damage out of this while we can. Oh. Oh, yeah. We're ready. The mythic spawn of mayhem has shown up. <laughs> the fourth phoenix, because why not? All right, let's try... Hold on. Let's try going absolutely crazy here. Drop off the birdo. Come on, spells. It's... Oh, wow, no spells. Just... Just freaking... Fields. Weird. But yeah, game. We can pass it back and let the opponent kill themselves with their spawn and mayhem. I just didn't want to pass with a mana in my mana pool, but yeah. Alright. <laughs> One land, never punished. Yeah. Steamkin. Carry. Let's go. Um, let's save that to play with our st stuff on the board, since we don't have to hit a land drop. Like, hitting a land drop is the only reason I would just snap a Warlord's Fury there. If I were on another one lander, well, well, guys, well. Okie dokie, no Steamkin. We'll put the wall up. Going to defend my life total. This planet is defended. We have a president who believes in walls. Everybody in magic knows defenders are bad. But we got this one guy. He's very much into the wall. Loves the concept. Thinks they're great. Go ahead. Zack your fanatical firebrand. Let's go. Easy. Easy money. 
This is going to be a very hard game. The Steamkin's most certainly going to die. I could snap off a Warlord's Fury here, but I kind of want to load up on a bunch of these small spells because my best chance to keep a Steamkin is to play it when my opponent's tapped out and then cast multiples of these to make it big enough to survive. Rope-a-dope. Yeah, that fanatical firebrand, baby. What, should I sacrifice it now? Should I sacrifice it later? Does one damage somehow equal four so I can kill one of these walls? Hmm. Hmm. Three mana does chain whirlies? Oh, going back to these red mages. Yes, yes. More of this. Lava the runner. Get in there. So somebody's getting shocked. Something's gonna die, that's fine. We gotta get the bolts out of their hand somehow. Plus, if they tap their mana, maybe Runaway Steam King can come down and get a counter or two. Anytime. Hey, look at that. There's a shock. And look at that, a wizard's lightning. All right. Well, this is not what I would call great. Let's see if the opponent just sacks the Firebrand to target it, then I can use Thrill of Possibility in responses. That would be nice. Or if they play a Chain Whirler, I guess. Sure. I don't think we can win. I think this is a bit tough. So what are the situations that are best? I, get, I just chain my way through multiple... Arc lights, so keeping another tormenting voice is the thing that helps me do that or makes it more likely I can do that by getting deeper. Okay, I got my counter. I mean, you can do this now, you could do it later. You could do it before, you can do it after. Just get around to it, please. You're boring me. We got a real rope master in the red mage over here. You're gonna make me salty. I don't want to be salty. All right. So let's see if we can draw here. Draw something nice. That's not very nice. Not very nice. Huh? Boy, my another lightning strike at it. Yeah, so cool. I'm so cool. All right. Come on. Merchant of the Veil. Too much discard, not enough action. Um, what am I doing here? I guess now I have to get back like multiple Arclight Phoenixes. So we have to discard the Runaway Steamkin. We have to draw some Arclight Phoenix and a land. That's kind of what's happening. And then we drop you off and we have to draw another Arclight Phoenix. Didn't do that. Agle? Uh, drop you off. No, we were a card short. We almost did the thing. It was that close, you guys. It was that close. One card off. I don't think there was a chance to be a card deeper anywhere. I think I played everything I had. Yeah, way to go, Red Deck. You are, you are a freaking champion. You are, you're a god among insects. Yeah, this is, this, it's fine, this is fine. Let's do it. Probably holding that crash through. Thrill, away goes Arclight, Tormenting Voice, Crash, and another one drop, perhaps. If we draw two more uh, one cost instants, we can Arclight nice and early, ooh. All right, well, we'll pass. Hold up the mana, make the opponent think I might lightning strike their thingy. Ooh, elves. Okay, Marwyn the Nurturer. Remember this card? Whenever an elf enters the battlefield, plus one, plus one counter, tap it for mana equal to the power. Sweet. All right, the opponent, they're not afraid. Hey, they're not afraid of my nonsense. Hit it. Okay, another field. Let's get out Runaway Steamkin, and then we can go for a nonsense turn next turn, I think. Um, one, two, then one, two, three. 
Yeah, I need to put a counter on the Steamkin now, though, to get the extra mana next turn. This way, when I play this and this, it goes up to th three counters. And we'll see if the opponent has a removalage. Nope. The Poison Tip Archer comes down. Okay, well, they've they've got some nonsense going on. They've got some they got some power. They've got some power. We're going to have to be pretty epic ourselves. Oh my god, the bird is the word. All right. Tormenting voice. You might say CGB. Why are you only showing the games where you draw all the Arclight Phoenix? Obviously, it doesn't do this every game. Well, I'll have you know, I haven't cut a game yet. I haven't cut a single one. This is, this has been every game so far. I haven't, I haven't cut any games. I haven't added, even added them out of order. I'm just an Arclight drawing machine. All right, I'm also a mountain drawing machine, which is not as great. Caw. So, this does have reach, which is unfortunate, but I can get six damage in here and I'm still at 19. And then I just bring him back next turn, right? I just draw enough spells. Could be very sad if I don't, that's for sure. All right, I lose a life. Now let's see how big of a turn our opponent can have. Ooh, that ain't good. That ain't okay. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. They're going to get another clan caller. Oh my. Oh my. All right, I've got two spells. I think I'm going to have a mana surplus regardless. So let's get another one of these down here. This makes the mana. We gotta hit a spell. It has to be a spell. Okay. Face. We're we're not we're not messing around. We're going face. Killing, killing elves, Hannah. Down to three. Looks like face was in fact the place. Two reach creatures, three flying attackers. Got there. Yep. Runaway time. Hey, where you been? Where you been all my life? All right, let's hold on to our spells here. We probably want to shock light up the stage at some point. Next turn's most likely just a steamkin. See if it lives Esper. Uh, maybe. And there might be something else to it. And they're thinking red. Yep. Yep, we go round and round in this dance, don't we? Esper versus Red. That was spring of this year. Simpler times. Never mind. All right, let's try to find... I guess we'll just light the... Mm. This is kind of weird. I sort of just want to attack and light the stage rather than use my mana. Because I could just play second Steamkin here. Okay. Okay. Okay, now, awkward, we have to cast the Arclight Phoenix, which is one of the things that can go wrong. I can't discard it from this zone. Let's play another Phoenix. Or not another Phoenix, another Steamkin. We do need one more counter on this Steamkin to cast the Arclight Phoenix. And our opponent... No! Okay, we have to top deck the land. Do we do it? No. No, we do not. But... We can go pretty nuts. This isn't the worst thing. Like, this isn't the absolute worst thing. See, that's three counters, and I can cast the voice. If I draw a land, okay. We start with the crash through, because if I draw the land, I can use the voice now instead of last. Ooh, that's nice too, actually. All right, we want to get the third counter on the Steam Game for sure. So we'll haggle. Drop you. 
There's the land. Play this. Cast, let's see. Yeah, cast this. Can take out the Teferi. Make the mana. Cast the Arc Light. We did it. And we get another Arc Light. Oh my God. I have solved Magic the Gathering. We did it. We crushed this puzzle. Kethis. <gasps> no. Not the combo Kethis. I just thought nobody played that anymore. It's fine. It's fine. I'm a try hard mage. I can try hard. Um, what are we doing? Nine. Uh, almost dead. Kethis pretty much has to chump block. If we find another bird, they die. I could play second Steamkin. I think that makes like a million mana, but I'm going to run out of cards in my hand. So I think I better discard second Steamkin. Crash through. Try that. Another Steamkin. Well, I have three more spells to cast, and I have the mana to use them, in theory. I have to discard this land, though. If I don't hit another land, I guess the party is kind of stopping. But I'm going to give it a try. Hit the land, because I'm the boss. All right. See if the opponent blocks or takes it. They block. So we head upstairs. Pump, pump. Kill the Kethis, knock you to three. Can you win? Can you win from an empty board here? And I can play out another Merchant of the Veil. I don't think this runs any kind of sweep or effect. But if I do that, I lose my Steamkin, so no. Because there's damage on it. Removing the counters would be fatal. All right. Let's see it, Kethis. You famed combo deck, you monster. Can you go off from there? And the answer is no. No, you cannot. Not today. Hey, yo. Steamy McSteamykins. Always the Steamkins. Now, will the birds show up? Baka! Mono blue. Again, we'll just save those crash throughs and stuff to pump the steamkin nice and fast. Opt. What are we doing with an opt? What's the plan? To the top. Draw that card. Red blue. Well, that's frustrating. I don't have a shock. The opponent's probably extremely likely to kill my runaway steamkin. Well, what else can you do? The stage ain't gonna light itself and. Yeah, just have to hope they missed on a removal. This hand is pretty bad. If we had only gone first. But going second now, the opponent got time to set up their lightning strike and do their things. It's pretty rude. This is where we need the Iron Craig Pyromancer. This is where we need a lot of things that we just don't have. All right, first let's crash through and see what we can see. Thrill. Now well, the thrill is gone. Um, let's discard the light up the stage since we don't have an easy spectacle source. And we start spinning the wheels here. But this is, this is I guess what you would call the fail state as we do nothing. There's something. Yeah, I guess I'd be I'd rather get back the bird than put out the steamkin. Hope the opponent doesn't have a removal or a counter spell for the voice. Merchant of the Veil, thrill of possibility. Okay. And we've got the haggle, so if we draw another arc light phoenix, we can discard it, but we don't. Crash him on through. Here's my bird. Opponent will probably zap it. I'm going to try to put it on defense anyway. Let's slow down these Electromancers. 
borrower. That is really rude. That is absurdly rude. <laughs> that is really nasty. And I'm taking seven here? Jesus. How much more nonsense does the opponent have? We haven't drawn any shocks and only one bird. Shock has to be a key card here. Just to slow this kind of nonsense down. And our opponent discards a finale of promise. And they play a Merchant of the Veil. We also didn't draw a Pyromancer. Pyromancer would be sweet in this matchup. So I could play this, but then I'm not getting bird back, so let's definitely haggle. I also know the joy that is Merchant of the Veil. Um, let's try to get too deeper. We pretty much have to find another Arclight Phoenix or some shock for this to work out, and that requires digging, and the, the deck's not having it, guys. Um, I'm going to try to draw a shock here, since we can't get another Arclight into the graveyard. I have to... nope. Just... just nope. Deck is not interested in playing ball this time. That has to be, like... That has to be among the worst draws I could have ever seen. Throw in an Iron Craig Pyromancer, and I think that game is super winnable. Yeah, that'll do. That will do. Well, there's the Pyromancer in a one land hand. Um, It's so good, though. But it's not great. It's not like it's a two Phoenix hand. Oh whatever. Either I'll draw either I'll draw land or I won't. We can do this. We can play this game. Off the top. Hey! Who's the who's the man? Alright. Let's go ahead and get two deeper. I think that's better than establishing an electrostatic field going first just doesn't do much on the board here. Then next turn we can either play the Pyromancer or save it for a turn later. Jeskai? Golden Egg. What has we here? All right. I think here we establish the field. Next turn we can play the Pyromancer and a Warlord's Fury and get a free Lightning Bolt out of it. Mm, kind of take our time. We're not under pressure here. We kind of want the opponent to devote some resources to something. What is happening? <laughs> I, I'm I'm curious. What nonsense is this? Uh, all right. I can also get the bird back right now, but I think I like going harder. And bolt, yeah. I'm going face. I don't know what this is here for. Maybe I'll regret this. But I challenge you, you lost little homunculus fibblethib. I challenge you to make me regret going face. What have you got? Especially with a golden egg. They've got some food they can eat. They can gain life. <laughs> something nasty. They must have something crazy going on. What will it be? Well, I'm the red mage. I don't let people play their crazy things. I destroy them for trying. Let's uh, start with a crash through. Runaway Steamkin. Let's light the stage. I don't think I need to get the Steamkin online this game. I might be wrong about that. Well, there you go. We had one coming out of here anyway. Do I get back Arclight right now? For more damage? Or do I establish a Runaway Steamkin? I think we go with Arclight here. Because here's the thing. Here's the thing, everybody. I got a limited shelf life. My nonsense, my nonsense expires. Okay, we exiled an arc light, which is never great. And one of the reasons I don't love light up the stage in the deck. Yeah, look at that trampling 04. Holy hype. All right, you better have a big turn. You, you, you play golden egg, you play bibble thib. Got a Mox Amber now and a Power Stone Shard. This, your deck needs to do the thing. Whatever the thing is, now is the time. 
Now is the time. Let's go. What's the thing? I'm not impressed. <clears throat> well, I guess I just... I need to cast you. And I need to use you. All right, down to five. I'll drop you off. Down to two. Aya. Settle the wreckage? Could be. Hoi! No, not like this. Cast it off the egg. What a champion. All right, you're at two. Really close to killing you. But you showed that you settle wreckage. That's what your deck does. What else? Bay of Wishes, go get a thing. Has to deal with the Pyromancer. And they, you tapped your white mana. I don't know if you meant to do that. Omniscience. Flood of Tears? And that's game because of Pyromancer. I fun policed. I feel bad. I feel bad. Something cool was probably going to happen there. But I hope you enjoyed this video with the Hot Wings Mono Red Arc Light Phoenix deck. It was... Well, the games when you draw two or three Arc Light Phoenix are insane. The games where you spin your wheels and do almost nothing are depressing. I guess that's about most combo decks in history. The deck has a decent game, I would say, if you don't draw Arc Lights with Runaway Steamkin. Uh, anybody can kill Steamkin, though. It's really about the Pyromancer. If you have the Iron Craig Pyromancer doing a thing, and those cards, a lot of these cards that you see here in Historic didn't get a chance to hang out with the Pyromancer before, like Crash Through and Warlord's Fury. Then you've got just a really potent threat that the opponent has to deal with, and they have to solve that issue. And then even if they do, the arc lights are coming for you. But it's a really fun deck. It's different from the re the regular mono red. It makes me look forward to playing arc light phoenix in historic. So that's exciting. And yeah, uh, that's what I have to say about that. Thank you for tuning in to the covert go red challenge, the color challenge. It rolls on. We still got some brawl to do who will be our commander you'll just have to wait and see next time on the cgb color challenge thank you for watching this video as always i will see you in the next video goodbye